Hallå igen. Shalom. Um, this is um, July 19, 2022. And I live in Sweden and my name is Eva Virginius. Um, I, uh, I felt like uh, I should uh, talk about Israel or, and what is going on. Um, I have uh, I have paid uh, uh, the flight ticket and uh, it was not much money um, but the hard things to to have money for is those expensive hotels there is in Israel and uh, I don't know it's, uh, what have changed because uh, those uh, hotels uh, we can look at uh, from other countries. Uh, they, those hotels is very very expensive. It's like we are royals and stay at hotel and. Um, those money I, I got from God, uh, that is not enough money. It's sad to know it, but uh, it's about um, the money I have left of this money I got. It's, uh, it, I am going to stay in two months in uh, in Israel and it's a long time but it what I felt that I should stay in two months I can change the flight ticket but I, I try to hold it and see if I can uh, if God uh, is going to do something uh, uh, to it so I can be there in two months and I don't know what I'm going to do in Israel uh, in those other three times I have been in Israel uh, there I knew what I should do uh, because God uh, was told me telling me what I should do but this time is different because uh, there is no plan God of course have a plan but I don't know it uh, it's not uh, something told me what I should do when I when I come to Israel um, my my thought was that I should uh, find a man to live with, uh, marry with, marry and stay in Israel. That's why I I was thinking that it should be uh, two months uh, at least for. For to come to know a man there in Israel. And this man I have contact with, uh, he has not talking so much, but now he start to talk. Now he start to be interested of me. Uh, so he had given me the, his address and telephone number. And I, uh, I look at where he lived in in Tiberia, Tiberia, in the city with the the Galilee Sea Lake, and I, it is uh, it's not special house he live in. He have live in a duplex house, and it is. It is those old houses they have in Israel 
that is uh, very common and it uh, I'm thinking about the Russia houses uh, like uh, in Ukraine they have these houses uh, that they have these uh, white grey houses and uh, for me the, here in Sweden we have we have uh, beautiful houses it's so clean people say when they have been here in Sweden uh, and, but in other countries many other countries you see it they don't uh, take care of the houses on the outside and um, so I was not shocked because I have been to Israel and have seen those houses and it's not those houses you see on pictures is uh, they lie so very much in Israel so no no wondering that uh, God is very angry at Israel and uh, because uh, God is not about money but uh, they uh, showing this picture of of a beautiful Israel and uh, it's not and uh, I have lived at, uh, in a hotel second time I was in Israel I I stay in a very cheap hotel in Tel Aviv and and I um, I have a room that the, it was a window in the room but it was on uh, when I look out in the window was it only a wall from uh, from another house of this grey white uh, color they have on the houses of a little all the time just in the 50s like that they have built and um, and uh, uh, it's uh, it was not about how the the house looked like it was that it was so much stairs it it was not built to that uh, people should be disabled in their legs for to be there to live there it was it was stairs without anything to hold hold in not even that and uh, those stairs was impossible to walk in for me uh, not even if I had a, a person with me because it was very very much steps to take and only like a hill so it was very easy to fall even if not disabled in the legs um, and uh, I assume that there is no elevator in in the, this old house it, it's only three floor high house but if you live uh, up on the third floor should it will be very hard for me to walk there and so uh, but I was thinking this that that uh, if he is not the right man for me then uh, I will know it and uh, in that way that I don't know this man yet and he live in that house that was impossible for me to enter in so it he lived very close to Galilee Sea you uh, he can see the Galilee Sea uh, from his window it was maybe 
50 minutes to walk to the to the lake so that was perfect in that way so I was thinking that um, I can live at a hotel in Tiberia and not uh, live with him uh, I I have a room there he say but who knows uh, what it is when I come in there he maybe want to have paid for the room or rape me I don't know him so I was thinking it's better that I stay at the hotel and then I can meet him in a in a public place it's more safe but then when I look at the, all the hotels they are so expensive because they they know that it's coming tourists to Israel so they they take a, uh, very much money uh, from the tourist when they have need to stay in a hotel and it's uh, it have raised so much the the bills for the hot, uh, hotel room now so uh, it's uh, maybe the double what I have paid for before for five years ago uh, it's been double they want so much money from uh, people that coming from other countries I have not followed this about uh, Israel I don't know why they ha have allowed it to to be so expensive and and then I laugh when I look at them. Um, I have taken out money. I have exchanged money, Israel money, Swedish money to Israel money. And I, I was, uh, that was pretty much I was thinking that I have exchanged. But is uh, that money is maybe for for two weeks for to stay in a, in a, a low price hotel hostel like that uh, so that's not enough it's uh, two months and, and I did I only have money for two weeks in a hotel and uh, and then I was thinking, uh, I'll see how much money I am allowed to bring to Israel to take with me in the suitcase. I was, I, I was not shocked. I laugh because you can take with you as much money as you want. Of course. It's about money in Israel. Uh, they, the Jewish people, they they denied it that they are money hungry. But uh, that, what uh, we have heard the whole time about uh, Jewish people that they are money hungry, and and that's what one reason why. Hitler wanted to kill them because he so he it was l uh, like envy that uh, the Jewish had so much money and but it's because of their business they are businessmen so that is a one. That was one sign for me that my mother was Jewish because uh, her, she and her five sisters, they were in their own business. 
uh, they, they have restaurants, all of them, and be, become very, very wealthy. And so, so that was one sign, even if, uh, if uh, you wish people that I have talked to is, uh, go angry at me that I say this. Uh, stereotype uh, things about uh, those the Jewish those Orthodox Jewish uh, but it's it's a lie to say that that they not counting money that they they like gold and jewelers that's a lie if I should say that that, that they they are normal in their way. It isn't. Uh, I have been to Antwerp in, I think it's in Belgium, uh, Antwerp, and um, and been in the Jewish quarters and uh, see uh, all those stores with diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. To sell real diamonds, not the Walmart's diamonds, <laughs> real diamonds, and um, I have seen it. I'm, I have said it before. I am an observer, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do there in Israel. Last time, uh, was I told to. To find <coughs> Benjamin Sedaka in Holon and talk to him. That was was the plan for for that time. And then, and um, the second time I was in Israel, it was uh, I was looking for Kabbalah and never find it. And then I find instead. Uh, the old synagogue in Tel Aviv and come to sit with the rabbi there the the main rabbi for the whole Israel uh, and he, we were praying together and I sit with him in in that place in the synagogue where only men are allowed to sit uh, and that was uh, that plan for and um, uh, this rabbi it it was find out that he was a, a criminal and he had to go from from he, uh, to be rabbi and uh, so it was a story to it uh, that's why I was there to to uh, get the knowledge about uh, that there is criminal things going on even if they look like like holy people uh, there is many things behind the scene that people normal people don't see but God want me to see it so he showing me this and um, uh, what I'm thinking about is if it is uh, like this that I don't have all the money when when November is coming and uh, and I uh, it's um, it's a spirit here uh, that push me to say it this that um, you uh, you must uh, try the best you can for something to come through to work as much as you can to solve your problem uh, it's um, uh, that what God is that's a, a key to know God that 
he want to see you working as much as you can for to solve your pro problem to hold your your home and not walk away from it and and all other uh, things that you have to work hard for to keep to fulfill and, uh, and if you if you do the best you can do to to do this and you still have problem and fail that's when god steps in it's uh, they uh, the, those in heaven they see you uh, working hard for to reach that goal and uh, there uh, it's not about uh, lamborghini car or uh, those fancy house or fancy car it's it's about these ordinary problems there is in life and it's not like many people think that it's only to pray to God that uh, he should solve your problem and give you things uh, because you're praying to him that's not how it's working you have to try on your own first very much and when you see that nothing i i do is working it's it's going down as much as i try to hold it and then you pray to god and God knows this, that you have tried your best to solve the problem. And, uh, and it's good if you are two people that you talk about this problem. And uh, when you are two about talking about it, um, not in, in prayer, it's not about prayer, it's about talking about it between you about the, and you say that uh, that uh, my God that is my father God he knows my problem and he will solve it and it has been many times for me in um, especially uh, when I was homeless I find out that's how it's working that I have to do my best first and then when I co can't do it God step in so that's uh, what I have to do for this to come back to Israel I have to do my best to solve the problem with too expensive hotel room and where should I sleep where in in Israel can I sleep have a bed if I don't have money enough for to to pay for a hotel room and, and I today I started to write emails to to many people uh, that have hotel hotel in Israel and try to see if there is someone that is kindly and lower the price and let me stay at their hotel and uh, and in that way it's uh, it will be the same thing that was uh, when I was homeless I was walking around and ask for help and they, uh, I don't need to walk around now I can sit at home and and write them on the internet and and test these people in Israel 
if they are money hungry or if they love God. <coughs> if, if money is going before God, that's uh, I will test. And if if some if uh, nothing um, is going my way, and I don't I don't take the flight to Israel if I don't have a bed for every day to sleep there and have money for to eat and I. And uh, then go to to f some different cities to test to see if if I meet people that I should meet that is what God wants me to meet and do this. Uh, I refuse to go back to homeless uh, way. I have done that. I have been homeless and I'm not going to Israel for to be homeless. So um, it's not money, it's so much money for the flight if I not uh, uh, take the flight. It's very little money. It's it's half of the money I got in retirement every month. It's a third of it. It's not much money because they they want us to visit Israel and spend money in Israel. So the the flight is very cheap. So I can let it be the flight and stay at home and uh, and then talk to God about it that uh, what did happen I don't know yet what I'm going to talk to God about but in some way I see it as um, that they want so much money from people the, the spirit here is saying the golden calf uh, saying that it was when Moses come down and find that the, those people was not waiting for him to come back they make uh, their they make um, they take all the gold jewelers and things they had and uh, melt it down and then they did a golden calf of it and when Moses come down with those uh, those stones uh, the low Moses low stones and he saw this golden calf and people worship the golden calf he break break the low the stones that have those loaves written down on them uh, and it's very symbolic about what's going on today that uh, when God have not showing in uh, showing up in Israel and uh, uh, they waiting for God to come because they are the chosen people they think and if and the the longer God is taken to not showing up it's not God they waiting for they waiting for for Ma Messiah to come and so as long as Messiah is not coming the more they uh, go away from God and uh, 
and built this golden calf. Um, that was that's uh, one thing God want to show me today about this that they want so much money from tourist people and then also I have told you before that uh, they built built falls tourist places and tell tell people that that's where that man was uh, digging down and that that's the place where he was killed this was the place where they got that and that and they built up these places and it's a, a lie it's some places is true true about but many places they they lie because they want tourists to come and spend money on all this and um, on facebook i when i have looking for uh, all those people that have those Jewish name I have in my family tree. I ask them if they want to be my friend. And very, very much many of them are tourist guide in Israel. It's so much money about this with the tourist. Uh, uh, to get uh, this money from from it and uh, they go uh, they are not thinking that some people don't have that money and they want to come to Israel to to see everything uh, where everything has happened and they want to come to Israel but uh, Israel, they can't come to Israel because it's so expensive. So that is not God. God is not money. So it's no wondering God is angry at Israel because because there Israel's first love is money and God is in the second place and then I find out that that God is uh, is not uh, God is not close to you those rabbis you wish rabbis those leaders, God is not close to them. They uh, they see God like many uh, tradition and the religions that God is far away. Uh, God is is um, like he's dead. He has been once. God. God uh, live once, but now he's dead. It's uh, they talking like that to me that uh, God doesn't exist today. Uh, God is only in books to read from the past, and then they they think they understand the future what will be in the future so uh, no contact with God in the in that way that you know I have contact with God that he is a living God that is here and now and not something uh, and God that have been in the past uh, God is a living God and he is here and now and here is our first love and nothing 
Nothing can come before him. And that's the, those in Israel doesn't see that anymore. They have walked away. And, um, and then I don't want to stay in Tel Aviv because it's have been like Sodom. And it's um, much uh, about uh, gay people, uh, homosexual people. Is there? Is the the party city? It's where it's flowing all these bad things, uh, and uh, Jerusalem is is the religious city, the traditional city, the historic city. But it's uh, it's going more and more break down. Because Tel Aviv take over. And uh, it's not nice to see it. And, and God, uh, my spirit is holding my shoulder. He, he holds, it feels like he have his hand on my shoulder. And he say, don't be worried, he say to me. Because what I see is uh, that I have everything on my shoulder that I need to go to Israel and change it to talk to those men I can talk to. If there is anyone that have open ears to what I'm saying and in that way they are listening at God in the same time I am not God but I have God with me and um, and it seems impossible I don't know what the future brings uh, I don't know why God want me to to fly to Israel because I got the money I was on I was talking to one uh, that I am related to him and uh, I was talking to him that if I win a lottery ticket here I go directly to Israel I said to him and then I should uh, buy the lottery ticket and I didn't have the money for the lottery ticket so I have to go into my bank account and uh, take money over to this lottery uh, our government is it that hold it um, to pay the lottery and when I call when I should take over money, send over money, I saw um, a, a little about what, how much money I have got on my bank account. So it it was not that uh, it's something that I have make a decision about. It was because. I was telling this man, if I win, it's very, very much money to win today. I don't know uh, what happened. Uh, but I say that to him, if I win, win those money, immediately I am going to move to Israel, I say. And then I got money on my bank account so that belong to what I say to him that's why I know God want me to to uh, visit Israel for the fourth time but I don't know what he want me to do I don't know where to stay 
I don't know uh, where the rest of the money should come from. Uh, but that, that, that I'm not worried about it. It's only that I have to wait for God to do something. And that it, it may be sent about money, that he sell, uh, give me more money. It's maybe it's someone uh, uh, write me that I can stay in their place. A real place where I can walk, uh, where I am because I'm disabled. Not in my legs, I disable in my brain, so it can, it doesn't, un my brain doesn't understand the stairs. Not up or down in the stairs, it, it, uh, it be confused, the brain. So yeah, I can walk in stairs, I can walk in stairs, that's not the problem. Is that the brain doesn't understand? To uh, I can't uh, look down in my garden when I I working with the flowers. I can't uh, standing and look down for a long time. It's then I fall down on the ground. So the, that's the problem with the brain. It can. I can't understand those level up and down. It doesn't understand that. So I can't walk in stairs. I can walk in stairs with my legs, but I can't walk in stairs with my brain. And that is very problem because I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, have pay for a hotel that have stairs and uh, I must have a flat ground and those new uh, they are new built f hotels that have this flat and those are very expensive so I can't I can't pay for them and, and today I can't be in those cheap hotels because they have these stairs so uh, it's different from from what have been before uh, so it will be interesting to see God's answer on it and, and heaven's answer because my ancestors in heaven want me to to come back to Israel but uh, but uh, if they want to me to come to Israel they have to work work for it so I there is no stairs uh, where I'm going to live and, and uh, they have to take away all these obstacles for me because uh, today am I disabled uh, light disabled because it's my brain that is wrong with I can walk with my legs I can move around with my body it's only the bra brain that doesn't understand some some things and uh, when I close my eyes, when I go to bed and I close my eyes, I, I go immediately uh, to sleep because the brain uh, take it as if nothing to do here. So it's, it's uh, cut off the brain. And, uh, and nowadays as I say, I, have, I sleep eight nine hours per night because of the brain can cut off and then this <laughs> she touched me now because i am going to say that 
the mother of all, all the beginnings is in my home. And she has made me sleep longer than before. And I think that she do this because I need it for the brain. So it's not many hours I am awake, but it's enough hours to, that I am awake. I'm okay with that. Uh, I, I love to go to bed and sleep. It's very, very nice. And sometimes I'm thinking like this, how it will feel like when you are very old and you are tired. You are tired in your body, you are tired in your brain and you go to bed for to never wake up again. Of course you wake up on the other side and that's, I hope I, I get that, that uh, time when I never wake up again here on earth. I wake up on the other side and I go back to bed and, and I feel like so wonderful to, to lay down and sleep like I do today, but I'm thinking as a very old woman, I could, I hope I be like that, that I feel that, that I don't feel like I, I don't want to sleep because then I maybe not wake up again, that I don't want to feel. I want to feel like it's wonderful to relax, lay down and relax. So thank you for, I have updated what's going on. It's very much to wait on God. So thank you for listening and God bless you.